all right hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be stuffing our savings challenges and this is going to be money from side hustle so if that is something guys that you would like to check out and see please stay tuned okay, so we are going to go ahead this is going to be money that i told you just a few seconds ago that we're going to take from the money that i made from side hustling um this is my business side hustle binder this is an a5 size right here so um i couldn't decide i was like am i doing this for pay myself or doing this for income which one are you doing Tina? all right but i just put it in this income one so we're going to go ahead and take that out and we're going to count and see how much we have um that we are working with today and put that to the side all right so we have 247 dollars. so this will all go go towards our sinking funds savings challenge okay all right, so we have 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 2, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. All right, y'all, them 50s. <laughs> I was about to tear it up. Let's see. Maybe I wonder if I can skip. I might have to put it back. I'm not sure what I've got going on nope and it's a nope for that one tina all right here we go let's try this one so i forgot i got twos hmm i got one two dollar bill ain't that something okay all right so um what i do because i'm not sure what number i'm actually going to scratch i'm just going to stick that there um i always scratch first and then what i have to play with left and what I have left, I don't know why my words aren't coming out good today. And what I have left is what I play with, okay? All right, so this right here is from Beautifully Budget Co. It's um, Beautifully Me and You on here on YouTube. This is one of her beautiful scratch cards. And my light was just um, doing its own thing. Um, so let's go ahead and figure out what we want to scratch. Okay, so I'm hearing y'all. Y'all tell me which one we're going to scratch. Um, let's do this one. All right, so this one is, ah, $15. Okay, so whatever I scratch on this, this actually goes into my um, trips savings binder here. So that's where that money goes. So that was $15. Get that off. Okay, so let's see. So we're going to go to trips, and that was lucky because I went straight to it. All right, so we're gonna add fifteen dollars. So we're gonna do, let's do one ten and one five. All right, so we're gonna do one ten and one five. So that'll give us fifty, one hundred fifty, two hundred fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, three hundred and ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seven, eighty, ninety. 410, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 60, 60, 60, 67. Okay, so we got 467 in this envelope, and the goal of that is I'll show you in here. This was for, I probably can um, do another one because our goal is 700 by June 1st, so we have to really get this kicking. Um, so that was 15. So I think I'm gonna actually do another $20 bill. And that way I'll have a full um, 35. So I think we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna pull a 20. And I need to fill this in. Well, we're just gonna use this pen. <laughs> and it would be just my luck, this pen barely writes. Oh, there we go, it's coming. All right, so we're gonna grab another 20 as I got right there. And that will give us another $35. For that because we have got to seriously hit this goal before june 1st because that will be part of vacation money and do have some sinkless um sinking funds that we use for vacation also so we have 50 150 250 60 70 80 90 310 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 410 20 30 40 50 60 70 75 80 85 86 87 all right so we got 487 and trips so that's how that works when i get that money for that all right so um next we are going to be doing take a guess we're going to be restarting our couch envelope because we actually use the money out of the couch envelope um grant's home furnishing had a deal on a nice couch with a recliner it's so freaking plushy so 
we ended up going there and it was not like planned and we used all of the money that was in our couch so basically there's no money in here this has been pretty much depleted and restarting this envelope over that's what i'm gonna do and it's a good feeling to have this cash that we had in here because we could actually go ahead and get it at any time so as you can see this is our um forgot my train of thought this is our savings challenge um a6 challenge card that we use to save up for it and now i don't have to really be like in a rush or have to be like um, a certain amount that I need so I'm just going to go ahead and put this in here so I think what I'm gonna do I'm just going to do each chair for 25 I think I'm going to do each chair $25 I can't decide if I'm going to do the laminated one or the um, just the one to fill in but I think I'm just going to do the one to fill in and I'm looking for my pens here and I'm just going to grab this one and I'm trying to get everything I have to do today because I want to go outside I want to go walking I want to do something this coda is weird looking so um we are actually going to put 25 dollars. we're going to restart this whole thing over and i don't have a certain item that we're going to get so i'm not going to put anything in the furniture last time it was couch and then i have gold and then each chair is 30 dollars. so let's get our trusty little pack later out real quick here all right so we got 25 times um 30 Okay, so this will give us a total of $750 altogether once we fill it. And I just pulled this calculator out, y'all, because it was the closest. Okay, so we're just going to do each chair $25, and we're going to add $25 to this. So we are restarting our couch back over. Yeah, Aiden loves the couch. It is like the plushy one. Our old one, we had it for about five or six years, so it was pretty much due. But we actually did... Um, was able to sell that one for like a couple hundred bucks. So we were able to add to this envelope to get something a little bit, you know what I'm saying, a little bit more than what was in there. So that was a plus with that one. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this back into our couch envelope and we're gonna start with $25. So we're gonna do 120 and we're gonna do one five. So we have $25 and we're starting over. It is such a good feeling that when you need furniture and you have something put back to the side, and trust me you have no idea how it feels okay so two dollar savings and we did that last time we're not going to do that and with your savings challenges guys don't feel like you have to put something in there every single time you don't have to because you have to work with what you have with your budget okay so five dollar savings we don't have anything in there that we're going to put in there 50 envelopes we're going to go ahead and grab that and i can move this calculator and 50 envelopes is basically what that is i have one through 50 in this box and a lot of people just do one box but i was being a little extra and i did um another box so i have one through 50 here so i have it in two boxes so we are actually going to stuff um let's see let's and i keep my cards in here so i won't lose them all right so let's do let's see let's do 23 and let's do 23 and 27. all right so we'll do 23 and i'm not sure which envelopes are open in each one because i just switched back boxes so i just do it on different um different boxes so and then like i said if you want to something because i didn't want to do the one through 100 because that was like a little bit more than what i want to do but so i started to just do two 50 50 boxes so we're going to do um 20 two tens and then we're going to do three ones let's do that 10 20 21 22 23 so that is good so let's see if we can find 23 an empty one and here's one here all right and then i said we were going to do what 27 oh gosh this is coming out of here so let me know if you're doing the 50 envelope challenge or the 100 envelope challenge and how your progress has um come with that one and then also guys it's emoji time it's emoji time okay put me a heart in the comments okay it doesn't matter what color just put me a heart in there because you just love budgeting right you just love having fun so put me a heart emoji in the comments okay so this is y'all's job okay <laughs> okay all right so that was 23 and then we're going to do $27. So we're going to do a 20. We're going to do a five. And then we're going to do 
two ones? Yeah, let's do that. Then we'll do two ones. All right, so we got 20, 25, 26, 27. All right, so in, there we go. Yeah, and I finally went to get my nails done, y'all. I was gonna put it off for one more day, and I was like, if I get up on camera one more time with my nails busted, one chipped off, one of my real nails showing, they gonna be like, what are you going through, Tina? But it was fun though, I had fun getting my nails done. So, um, this is what we looking like with our boxes. And so we're gonna go ahead, I think we're pretty much done with this one, y'all. This is all about savings challenges, so that's what we're doing in this video here. Okay, all right, so we can put our 50 envelopes back in here. So we do there. Okay, so 52 weeks we did a last um, stuffing, so we don't have to do that, so we're going past that. Um, 1,000 challenge, we're going to pass that. We don't have to do that. And like I said, y'all, you don't have to stuff everything. All right, so self-care. So I wonder what, what are you guys doing for self-care? I thought I was going to have to take money out of here for my self-care, for my nails. But I actually had the $37 in my, because I rolled cash over from my last two weeks stuffing. So sometimes I think it's a good idea to roll over your everyday spending wallet cash that you have in there to the next week if you know you have something planned because I know I had to go get nails done. So that's why I rolled that over so I didn't have to take anything from here. But we are actually gonna be adding $25 to that. So we're gonna do 120 and we're gonna do 15 for that. So 20, 25. So let's do our eyelid. So that's why I didn't, um, yeah, I didn't take that money and put it towards something else so like i said with your budget you can kind of pretty much play with it so we have 20 40 60 81 20 ooh, 40 50 60 65 70 75 80 so we got 180 and like i said with the self-care challenge you can dig in here anytime you want to what i do i use erasable with the friction pins and if i need to take out 25 i just erase the 25 dollars and then that's how i do it i don't make it too hard and don't like don't like be so rough on yourself. You know what I'm saying? If you got to go in there, you got to go in there. Okay, so for Christmas, we are going to do, let's do, we're going to do $20 for Christmas. And then that is also in our book. I have been slacking on Christmas, actually. I'm not sure where my green pen is. So this is going to look real crazy. All right, so Christmas, we were doing $20. So we'll just do the bow for this one. Maybe I'll just do the bow and then I'll do the reef for half half. So we'll do $20. So we're gonna do one $20 bill. So yeah, you guys notice that I haven't been really doing too much with it. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 30, 40. All right, so we got 140 for Christmas there. Okay, All right, so we can put this back up. I'm just going back and forth with this. All right, so next we have month and a half. Month and a half. Y'all, what am I talking about? A month ahead. <laughs> All right, so we do have, let's see what we got. So we got $30 in there. So we're going to do $17. So we're going to do a 10 and I don't have a five. Uh-oh. So we're actually going to do $12. Because I think I might have switched something out. But you know what, y'all? This is what we do on here. We make it work. All right, so we got 20, 30, 40, 42. All right, so we got $42 for one month ahead. All right, so for new whip, we are gonna add $50 to this. So that will be our $50 bill. Don't you just love how you can just kind of like tweak this and kind of make it a different on your own. All right, so we got 100, 200, 350, 450, 60, 70, 80, 90, 510, 20, 30, 35, 36, or 7, 38. Y'all, we got 538 in here. Yay! Okay. All right. So for MacBook, like I told you guys, there's nothing wrong with my MacBook. But like I said, it's always good with technology. You never know what will happen. So we're actually going to do $10 for that. So we're going to do 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So we're going to do $35 for a MacBook. All right, so next we're gonna do save it up. Remember I told you this was for like anything like extra gas, food, or cost of living, things like that. So we're gonna do $20 for that. So that's what we got going on, doll. $20. 
and then we'll do two because I think I'm doing it like ten dollars a piece so we'll we'll just do two and split it up how about that make it less complicated and I need a I need a thin black pen here all right we'll do this one all right so we'll do oh this is super new I got um, at this little, I don't know what you call it, like a little thrift shop. I don't know. She like take things and she resells them or something like that. Um, but I got like all these pens. It was like a pack of 10, I think. I got it for like three bucks. And the gelosities are really good. So we're doing $20, okay? So we got 20, 30, 40, 50. All right, so we got $50 in that. And that. And I am, I don't have an envelope yet for my new cell phone. I'm going to put this up because we were pretty much done with this. This was super fast, y'all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and figure out with you guys what, um, how much we need to save for each one. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. All right, so we have 25 spots. So usually cell phones are like seven, eight hundred dollars. I know that's crazy, right? So let me grab my calculator here. I was looking for my Hello Kitty calculator. I guess I stuck it somewhere. All right, so phones are usually seven hundred dollars. So we're gonna divide that by twenty-five dollars, and so that'll make it twenty-eight dollars. So we're gonna actually do thirty. $30 for each phone. So I'm going to write that here. So as you can see, $30 because like I said, our lease is up and we have like 116 left, but the bill just came out. So it should be like 60 or something dollars left now um, because it's already taken out another payment. So we're going to do $30 times 25 and that'll give us $750. So this will be a new envelope that I will be adding because like I said, I don't wanna do the lease thing anymore. I just wanna basically buy the phone out and because as you can see, when you wanna buy it out and pay it, it's like a hassle. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do there. And I am just gonna stick this in here for the moment and I'm gonna have to make another envelope. And I don't know if I'm gonna have to make another binder um, or I might pretty much be able to add to this. I think I might just try to add to this little binder. I think I can do it, but I'm gonna actually stick this back here. And then that way, the next time when I need to stuff, I can do that. But like with the savings challenges and stuff, add what you can add, and then sometimes just go through it just to make sure that it makes sense to you. And that's all. I have for this cash stuffing which was super fast but thank you guys so much for chilling with me if you have not already checked out my instagram please make sure to head over to there it's called a pink cloth life and then also i have a tiktok it's called a pink cloth life and then if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up and share with everybody you know just share share like crazy all right and then like i always say until next time guys peace